I'm Gio, and this is Allie. And we live in a van full time as a family of four. And our goal is to adventure, show the kids new things, do hard things, and sleep in as many places as possible while we're out on the road. If you didn't catch part one of our spare breakdown video, here is a 15 second montage of exactly what happened. It's just not starting. What? Yeah, like I, the hood's up and it's just dripping. It's leaking everywhere. No, the patient. It spewed gas everywhere, so we have barely enough gas to get it started. It started, we're on the road, we're driving to the mechanic. After the van being at the mechanic for two days and us being stranded in Park City, not so bad, they could not discover why this bleeder line just opened up and spewed diesel all over our engine. So they changed the oil, gave us a clean bill of health, and we were on our way with what we thought was a van that was fixed. Just a few days later, we were at an awesome camp spot in the pink coral sand dunes, sledding with the children when the check engine light came on. Again! After a few deep breaths and a lot of phone calls, Keith in St. George works on these and he said that he's surprised we haven't heard anything of it. It's this huge class action lawsuit. The dealership <laughs> should replace the whole exhaust. Oh my God. So these sensors are bad and the countdown will probably start if we let it go too long. The countdown to not being able to get it done. You only get a certain amount of entry starts and then it just won't click over for you. Wow. Uh, on the 8th, okay? 8 o'clock on the 8th. We'll, uh, we'll definitely do it. How long will it take? You think it'll be about a three to four hour um, Yeah. Four hours is going to be great. All right, well, it's hard, it's hard getting in touch with people out here on the road and scheduling things, so I, I honestly really appreciate you getting this all taken care of for us on Friday. That's, that's really helpful. Not a problem. Not a problem. Thanks so much. What's up, y'all? Just getting in my Benzie. Couldn't even figure out actually how to get it into park. Uh, the courtesy car. Because the end of our van life sagas. Hopefully this check engine light problem was covered under a warranty that was this big class action lawsuit against Mercedes Benz that we were totally unaware of until a very nice mechanic in St. George, Utah told us to take it in. So we took her in. Now I got this sweet ride that we're cruising around St. George in. Managed to uh, get laundry done and pick up some Cracker Barrel. So look at us. So anyway, we're on our way back to pick up the van. Yay! Zero dollars, warranty paperwork. It's official. I think our check engine light problems have come to an end. Did they tell you that in there? No. <laughs> Did you ask about it? No. But that's the problem. So we're good. You'll see. This all goes back to the second day of our trip when we pulled into that auto zone because we had the check engine light come on. They helped us get our first diagnostic tool, taught me how to use it, and it pulled the error code P022, P20, P002, something with P's and zeros and twos, and they assured me that it was not an issue to worry about. I took that and ran with it. Drove the van for thousands of miles on that. Now, was the recall and the check engine light a function of the bleeder line opening up and then that caused the trip to the mechanic and the tow truck? Was it a big slew of problems there? We will never know. What we know out now is after the sensor has been replaced, we've been on the road for another two months, another couple thousand miles, and thankfully, our van seems to be running smoothly. Like all hard experiences, it sharpened us around the edges a little bit, and it really made us appreciate being out here, living on the road, traveling and adventuring as a family.